Hi, this is He-Man from the product team at Phoronix. Thanks for joining in here for the multi-site management tutorial. The point of this tutorial is to explain to you uh, the ability to manage multiple geographic locations or multiple buildings that are in your environment. So if you have a requirement where you have multiple users who have different sets of permissions to manage different workstations or uh, Android or iOS devices, you can actually set up the secure sites, is what we call them, in your environment. So by default, when you first create a DeFreeze Cloud account, there's only one site that's uh, available to you. Uh, so you will not see this drop down here in the top right corner for the site. But as soon as you create multiple sites, you can now go ahead and see all your different sites in your environment. If you want to create more sites, you can go here and create, say, create new cloud site, or you can go in here and click on My Sites. When you, when you go to the My Sites page, this is where you'll be able to add additional sites and specify which site is going to be your default site. So let's uh, say we go ahead and add a New York site and you can then specify whether this site is going to be your default site, which means that whenever this person logs in, this is the site that will open up for them. So you don't have to continuously go to the top and switch between sites. Uh, you'll also uh, be able to enable live actions here, which is enabled by default. This essentially lets your cloud agent uh, speak to your uh, cloud console in a, in a different uh, heartbeat manner. Uh, our cloud agents behave differently uh, if you have this live action enabled versus not enabled. Uh, if you're not enabling it and you don't have any cloud relays in place, then you will not be able to perform actions such as, such as shut down, restart, or wake up, or you know reboot thought or reboot frozen. All right, so let's go ahead and create this site called New York. And I can uh, go ahead and say that uh, Billy here is allowed to manage all the workstations in our New York office. Of course, every super administrator that's in your uh, user management will be able to manage every single site uh, in your environment so they can see everything. But if you create an administrator, then you can uh, basically allow them to only manage certain sites. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. This will create that New York site for me. And then when I click on that, it will basically uh, switch over to that New York site that you see. So now what, uh, what the other way you can do this is you can actually go ahead and go to your user management. And whenever you add a brand new user, you can also specify which site that user is allowed to manage. All right. Now, if you wanted to provide the ability to just have very limited access to just the deep freeze product, then you can go ahead and create a deep freeze limited administrator and choose the site. And as well as site, you can specify which group they're allowed to manage, a group of computers, and which actions they're allowed to do for deep freeze, whether it be shut down or reboot frozen or reboot thought. All right, so thank you for tuning in for this tutorial. Hopefully this will help you um, create multiple sites to manage multiple locations or multiple buildings or essentially create an environment where you want to provide limited access to your devices for a particular person or administrator. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.